Salam to all, hope you're all doing well and I am back with another amazing recipe. So we're making Chinese chicken sweet and sour. Uh, you can see the list of ingredients on the screen that I used for the marination for the chicken and for the sauce. The meat that you need should be this size. Uh, I have taken about 450 grams of boneless chicken breasts and to that I added 1 tablespoon ginger garlic paste, 2 tablespoons of vinegar, 1 teaspoon black pepper, 1 teaspoon of salt or ajinomoto. I actually used a mix of both so I added half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of ajinomoto. Now just give it a stir. Now gradually start adding all purpose flour to coat the chicken. Give it a stir. I added a total of 4 tablespoons of all-purpose flour and in the end, the chicken should look something like this. Next step, prepare the sauce. Take half a cup of ketchup. To that, add 3 tablespoons each of soya sauce and vinegar. So I added 3 tablespoons of hot sauce at one first, uh, then I tasted it and I added 3 juice, more. Depending on how much sauce you want in your dish, I used 1.5 cups. One cup I took fresh pineapple juice and the other half I took from the pineapple din. Now you add all these ingredients to the mixture and give it a good stir. Black pepper usually tends to make the sauce a little dark. Uh, so I added a pinch of red food color. I'm adding a little hot sauce more. You can adjust according to your taste. I'm adding a little corn flour, 3 tablespoons in 1 third cup of water and adding it to the mixture. Upon heating, this will thicken our sauce. Now while I chop my vegetables, how about we chat a little? Now this recipe I learned from my sister and uh, she has tweaked it a little to suit our taste. But still it is amazing and it's authentic. Uh, a little lazy touch to it for the extra sauce, but it's delicious. Trust me, you want to try this. I like this recipe because it's different and uh, it also has cauliflower in it. I like to uh, cut my cauliflower into these small florets and I steam them separately because they take a bit longer than the other vegetable. Now you can start frying your chicken. I fried my chicken for a total of 10 minutes. Just flip them over halfway through. You can remove one and check if it's cooked fully. You can remove them all. I fried mine in batches. And they were ready. Now add some oil to the wok and start frying your vegetables. Carrots take a bit longer so I like to fry them first. I like my vegetables to have a little bit of crunch so I do not fry them to cook them but I just saute them a little. If you want your vegetables to have a nice uh, bright color, do not over fry them. Do the same walk now I'm adding the sauce. And while it's still cold, I'll add the chicken to this. In no time, we'll start noticing that uh, as the sauce heats up, it will start thickening. Our cauliflower is also ready. It has steamed nicely. I did not add all the cauliflower to the sweet and sour chicken. I used some of it in the egg fried rice. So I only added one cup. Of cauliflower to the chicken when it started thickening up I also added some chopped pineapple from the tin that I used earlier. 
If you do not want to add pineapple, that's your choice. You can skip it, but Sweden Sour usually has pineapple uh, for the sweetness and a bit of a sour taste. Ooh, I just love this. Gorgeous. I load the flame and let it simmer for a little while with the pan covered and it's done. You can top it up with some sesame seeds and serve your family and friends just like I did. Thank you for watching guys. Please do like, share and subscribe. Hope you all like this easy peasy recipe. See you all again in my next video. Until then, bye bye.